Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius, what is up with you? Four of Pentacles in the world. Oh. Damn, someone says you got good energy around you. But sweet Jesus, you're dealing with somebody who's very fucking stingy. So, Sagittarius, you could have a thief around you. Uh, there, there's a chariot energy. There's the world. This could be a joy thief. This could be a literal thief. You're in some good energy. So, damn. Stay focused on you. Some of you could be seeing a falling star. What the hell is this in regards to you? Astrological. This could definitely be astrological with you. Oh, look at that. Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands. The Nine of Cups. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. My oh my, Sagittarius. Hmm. What are you doing here? Basis of this, the full energy. The Page of Swords. The Emperor energy. And there's the Capricorn energy. Oh. Damn, Sagittarius. This is like guidepost energies. So... I mean, for fuck's sake, Sagittarius, I feel like you you know the way. There's like this guidance energy around you. So definitely trust your uh, intuition right now. There's a lot of sort of opposition energy in regards to you. But damn, it's like a missed opportunity. If you don't know your value or worth, somebody else does. Uh, you're praying, Sagittarius, right? It's always the energy of you between being like hellfire and brimstone and our God is a loving God. So, I mean, for fuck's sake, right, Sagittarius? What is this sort of energy? You have, like, guideposts. So, uh, this is very interesting in regards to you. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer, Sagittarius. Damn, where's that fucking optimism in regards to you, Sagittarius, as well? That's like, uh... Uh... Always looking at the positive. Always looking at things from a different sort of perspective. I feel like you have a lot of sort of stuck energy around you that is that very sort of hellfire and brimstone, for fuck's sake. I feel like that's your cross-watcher energy. <clears throat> You're far more accomplished. This is far more interesting <clears throat> energy in regards to you, uh, Sagittarius. The sun there with the four of wands. There's the moon. The four of cups underneath the nine of cups. There's the knight of cups. The five of swords. The eight of pentacles. The eight of cups. And there's that two of swords energy. The queen of wands with the seven of pentacles. To the ten of swords. Trust your intuition right now, Sagittarius. This could definitely be astrological with you. Those of you in regards to the sort of energies that you do sort of tap the fuck into. Uh, there's so much of that sort of negative vibe. But it's kind of your outlook in regards to things, right? So that's what makes the difference here. Nothing's really all that overwhelming. Those of you Sagittariuses who have pulled focus back on yourself, those of you that aren't in relationships or partnerships or that's not really your main focus right now, that's what makes the difference. 
This could definitely be astrological with you. So those of you that uh, focus on uh, your astrology, there could be an interesting sort of transit vibe going on with you uh, right now. Um, Sagittarius, some of you, your moon nodes could be switching up. Some of you, this sort of, uh, I don't feel like it's retrograde so much. It's like this, this sort of, It's kind of like the Aurora Borealis in regards to you. So if you're a praying Sagittarius and you're one of them that, uh, you know, send me a sign type vibe, it's, it's, it's kind of like that in regards to you. This is a very good energy, but damn, Sagittarius. You always get met with this sort of opposition. This is sort of be mindful of what you do, sort of put your time, energy, or effort into. So hopefully you're focused on far more positive vibes here, uh, Sagittarius. And you should be rather elusive too. So damn, some of you, your moon nodes could definitely be switching up. Those of you, if you've got strong Piscean placement, you got Pisces, Capricorn, and Aries right here. But damn, this is that sort of power of positivity with you. It's whatever sort of vibe you choose to sort of tap the fuck into as well. Uh, so those are you Sagittariuses, right? It's not like uh, hellfire and brimstone. Some of you are God is a loving God. There's that sort of opposites vibe in regards to you. Someone doesn't like the fact that you're like accomplished on your own. So those of you in regards to relationships or partnerships that were far too codependent, someone doesn't like the fact that you broke free from that codependency. You're choosing happiness. You're choosing to sort of find the positive in things. So, damn. So, damn, Sagittarius. You got your guidance energy here. This does feel like guideposts. So isn't that the old uh, sort of religious uh, pamphlet they used to put out, the guidepost? Uh, so trust this energy. It's like you can navigate. The Capricorn energy there and the Emperor energy, right? If you're going through hell, keep on moving. Don't slow down. If you're scared, don't show it. You might get out, for the devil even knows you're there. Some of you Sagittarians, this could be adopting uh, better, better verbiage in regards to your sort of religious type vibes. So, sweet Jesus Sagittarius. There's the double moon, and a double moon, double sun. So, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, Sagittarius. <laughs> what are you focusing more on? There is this energy of like illusion and confusion in regards to you, Sagittarius. Those of you, if you got a strong Aries placement, some of you could be dealing with a very strong Aries Capricorn energy here. Uh, sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. There's the Three of Cups vibe. There's the Six of Swords. There's the Page of Swords. Oh, there's the Hangman energy with the King of Pentacles to the Emperor energy to the Magician energy. Damn. Who the fuck is sort of inspiring you right now, too? So some of you can stay stuck in that stagnant energy because that's the sort of energy you're allowing around you. So for fuck's sake, Sagittarius, don't be tapping into anything that's just all sort of negative. Some of you need to change your verbiage up in regards to something. Some of you like this sort of collective energy around you. Uh, maybe some of you in regards to some sort of religious type sect. So S-E-C-T. So I don't know. What the fuck are you sort of attracting into your life right now, Sagittarius? Because some of you, for fuck's sake... Damn, Sagittarius. I mean, for hell. <sighs> Pay attention to the verbiage on something.
Sweet Jesus Sagittarius. I never the fuck that Aries vibe is. Some of you, it's a very strong, very stuck, very stagnant energy. There's something about manipulation here too. So trust your instincts, trust your intuition. Some of you don't be stuck in that sort of stagnant. Everything is like overly uh, Capricornated. So, I mean, for fuck's sake, Sagittarius. Why does this feel like scripture energy? Some of you, it's like hellfire and brimstone. Others of you, it's our God as a loving God. What's your viewpoint in regards to that? If you're going through something on a spiritual level, who is getting more of your attention in regards to that? What the fuck is up with this sort of verbiage energy too? If you're looking for the negative, you're always going to find the negative. So, damn. There's a very dominant sort of energy here. Some of you in regards to the, It's always Three of Cups vibe with you. So, damn. Those of you Sagittariuses, if you're looking for like a new sort of uh, place of worship or something like that, be very mindful. Because, damn, there's so much sort of fake-ass energy in regards to you. There's so much sort of fake-ass energy in regards to you. But who gets all your time, energy, and attention? <sighs> ah, some of you Sagittarius's, watch some documentaries. Watch some, uh, the History Channel used to have some really good, uh, uh, documentaries where they'd have like the the PhDs of all the religions out there discussing uh, their different types of religious beliefs. This this needs to be more scholarly in regards to you, Sagittarius. If you focus on the negative, then that's the sort of energy you attract. So where's the optimism? Where's the optimism? Over top of all that is the Ace of Pentacles. It all comes down to this Pentacle energy. Damn, if you don't know your value or worth, somebody else does. So, sweet Jesus. This is a very fertile energy in regards to you, Sagittarius. This does not have to be overly dramatic. This could just be like working opportunities in regards to you, Sagittarius. Someone is definitely looking at you as an opportunity, but they're more of an opportunist. So, sweet Jesus. I don't feel like you're the first. So this is like that sort of, damn. For fuck's sake, Sagittarius, some of you be mindful. Especially those of you, if you're looking for a new sort of a place of worship. That you don't sort of get stuck in, in some sort of fucked up energy. What's the, what's the focus on though? So sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. Watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely be astrological in regards to you. You need to bring about this switch up. So look at things from a different sort of perspective. Uh, there's a lot of sort of reflecting energy in regards to this too. In regards to you, Sagittarius. So this is that the power of positivity. The page of swords. You should be far more inquisitive. You should be far more focused on finding resolutions right now than staying stuck or stagnant. This is uh, changing up. Some of you changing up your verbiage. Some of you changing up your viewpoint. Some of you looking at things from a different sort of perspective. This is if you're always thinking negative, trying to pull that sort of positive energy out in regards to this. There is some type of manipulation, but sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. It's all about the pentacle energy at the end of the day. So I don't know. Are you paying for the opportunity to stay stuck or stagnant? Some of you keeping that sort of energy where it is stuck or fucking stagnant. Um, you got the sort of navigation on this. So you're not lost. You're not really stuck. You're not really uh, struggling. Uh, you need to trust your intuition. So sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. Where's that tower energy?
And over top of that is that Knight of Pentacles. Oh, that is that stagnation. So, damn Sagittarius. Who or what is this Aries that's wanting to be very controlling, but they are toxic as fuck? It's a very opportunistic energy. So, this is like MLM type vibes. Uh, Sagittarius, this is... Uh, where's Sagittarius, a lot of you know better. You know, this is like... Uh, this is that sort of manipulation energy. Take what's yours, leave what's not Sagittarius. Where's this sort of balanced energy that needs to come in for you? If you're focused on the negative, then that is all you see. So, damn. Some of you, there's a relationship or partnership that really isn't meant to come together, but you're not really seeing that. This is like an MLM vibe. This is like a group dynamic that just sort of uh, brings in that sort of negative energy. Seven of Cups there at the Four of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Be mindful of who you're sharing your dreams and goals with right now. Two Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Wands. Over the Page of Swords is the Five of Wands. And there's the king of swords. Damn Sagittarius. I mean, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, you're Sagittarius. <laughs> Some of you, this could be a relationship or partnership. But you know this energy. So you've been here, done this before. This is like the same sort of vibe. Uh, if you're dating uh, Sagittarius, look at things from a different sort of perspective, understanding things. You should be very inquisitive right now with that page of swords. Uh, the hangman here, the ace of pentacles, the six of cups to the will of fortune. So this is like relationships, partnerships you've been in before. That's very controlling. But you know that. That Aries energy always wants to show up in regards to you. So, damn, Sagittarius, those of you... Those of you that change everything about yourself in regards to a relationship or partnership or choose partners that want you to change everything about yourself to sort of fit their image, it's kind of like that. Some of you, that is not the relationship or partnership that you need. So just be very mindful. You should be very inquisitive uh, in regards to this too. So Sagittarius, those of you, if you start asking questions or looking at things, you're going to realize that sort of five of wands vibe. This is like be mindful of catfish and energy, Sagittarius. Those of you, don't let your emotions overwhelm you in regards to relationships or partnerships. Some of you, this is in regards to how much sort of time, energy, or attention you give to this. This is like an MLM or other sort of uh, opportunities like that. Whatever the hell this is, someone expects you to give a lot. This is like, uh, if you don't know your value or worth, somebody else sure the fuck does. It's a very manipulative energy. It's a very old school energy. So, for fuck's sake, Sagittarius, some of you be mindful of catfish and energy as well. So, damn. You should be very inquisitive right now, Sagittarius. 
Watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely be astrological in regards to you as well. Especially if you have strong Aries placement. You had the sun, the moon. So this is like a solar opposites, right? The clarity is there, but there's that sort of uh, manipulation energy here. Some of you, your moon nodes could have switched up. You got good opportunity coming your way, Sagittarius. Whether you realize this or not, someone else realizes this. So, damn. Stay, keep focused on you. If you find yourself feeling a little stingy, it's it's like a it's like a po positive vibe with you. So be very mindful of uh, who or what you sort of give to right now. Some of you, this could definitely be a romantic relationship or partnership. It's a very old school vibe. It's very old school. It's uh, trusting your intuition in regards to something. You're not the only one, though, uh, Sagittarius. Over top of that is the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you are dealing with someone who has been in multiple relationships or partnerships. There's multiple, uh, there could be multiple children in regards to this. But it's like, a, it's a very stuck, stagnant energy. Damn. Some of you are dealing with someone with very old school sort of thoughts. So, damn. Who's the over-dominant? Sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. That's not the relationship or partnership. Who's trying to sell you on an idea? Who's trying to sell you on this sort of uh, perfect opportunity? Who's trying to sort of create this sort of... It's almost like creating the perfect sort of vibe uh, in order to get this connection. But someone's all about the pentacles instead of this sort of romantic connection. It's a very dominant energy. So, sweet Jesus. Some of you could be a proposal, and you're really going to have to think about this. How many exes does somebody have? <laughs> <laughs> this is some old school type vibes too, Sagittarius. So for fuck's sake. Damn, Sagittarius. Oh, you, you understand... You understand how to navigate this energy. So this should be rather easy for you. It's like guidepost. You you understand. So a lot of you have been here, done this before. A lot of you, it's the same sort of... Uh, it doesn't have to be the same energy, but it's the same sort of energy signature. It's like MLM. It's like marketing. It's like everything about this is completely not it. Especially in regards to relationships or partnerships. Damn. I was going to say, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. But you couldn't listen to that type of music. So, damn Sagittarius. What's this about in regards to you? Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayer. So someone is not who or what the fuck they seem to be in regards to this sort of romantic connection. Three of cups there. So some of you, how many relationships or partnerships have they had that have failed? This is definitely be mindful of catfishing energy, Sagittarius. Be very mindful of the energies that you sort of tap the fuck into. This is MLM. This is, uh, it, it's, it's, there's way too much in regards to this. So, if you've been catfished before, Sagittarius, those of you that, uh, in regards to relationships or partnerships coming together, but it's far more pentacle based. So some of you could be dealing with fake ass emperor or empress type synergies. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer.
I don't know. Trust your intuition on this because you're overcoming this. You got like guidance energy. So it's kind of like, are you the spider or are you the insect that gets stuck in this sort of spider web uh, energy here, Sagittarius? There should definitely be a lot of clarity. You should be very sort of mindful of this energy. It's definitely the difference between hellfire and brimstone and our God is a loving God. So some of you change your verbiage up for fuck's sake. Where's the positivity in regards to you? Because there should be a lot of fucking positivity. Damn, Sagittarius, look at you go. Anything else in regards to this for Sagittarius? Don't drink the Kool-Aid either, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like you have good opportunities coming your way. So don't sort of block your blessings in regards to this either. Because this is very, this is very good vibes with you. But damn. I'm going to be mindful of catfish and energy. So, Sagittarius, right? Ten of Swords, the Chariot. There's the Two of Swords. There's the Six of Pentacles. There's the Fool. And there's the Five of Swords. This is a good energy coming in with you. Six of Pentacles. There's the Fool. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Those of you that's choosing to stay single. Trusting your intuition on that. It is the power of positivity. So there's like, uh, you got the guidepost energy around you. you you're sort of, uh, it's an interesting sort of journey with you, but you're not really lost. You're not really stuck. Definitely pay attention. Some of you just change your fucking verbiage up. It's looking at things from a different perspective. It's a very interesting energy in regards to you too. So definitely watch your favorite astrologer. You, you got some good opportunities coming in. So this is almost a, a switch up. This is kind of changing things around. Some of you is that sort of old stagnant energy. So some of you, this could be in regards to your old way of thinking. Some of you in regards to how you look at things. Some of you is just switching up your verbiage. It goes from hellfire to brimstone to our God is a loving God. So it's like, what, what sort of energy are you more focused in? You need to be far more balanced. Far more balanced. Definitely looking at things from a positive perspective. King of Cups. This is not about love. It's kind of like learning to love yourself. So if you got strong Aries placement, you could have a lot of decisions to make in regards to yourself. You know the answers. You know the sort of guidance energy here. So trust it, uh, Sagittarius. Guidepost. I don't know if they still print that or not. Um, but it, it's interesting with you. What's your verbiage? This puts you in a really good energy some of you to call in good working relationships or partnerships work love life in regards to this uh sagittarius take what's yours leave what's not where's the positive vibes where's the positive vibes in regards to you sagittarius where's the positivity Take what's yours, leave what's not, Sagittarius. I love this for you. This could definitely just be astrological, especially if you got strong Aries. Uh, you had the sun, the moon, the sun, moon come out twice. So this is very interesting. Could be an interesting uh, transiting vibe with you. 
you're in this sort of two of swords vibe so you're not really lost you're not really stuck it's just you you're gonna have to trust yourself you're gonna have to trust yourself Definitely making smarter choices in regards to uh, who gets your time, energy, or effort. There is positive outcome with you. So this is like, be mindful of the sort of fake opportunities. Mm. I love this for you, Sagittarius. You're not lost, you're not confused. You have like guidance energy. So, trust your intuition on this. Peace, love, and light. Good luck. God bless. Where's that positive energy? Where's that positive energy? Switch your verbiage up. Switch your verbiage up. Peace, love, and light. Good luck. God bless, Sagittarius. <laughs> 